so hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to flash any custom roms or roms based on miui or aosp so the basic needs of flashing a custom rom is you need an unlocked bootloader and to check if your bootloader is locked or unlocked you need to enable developer options by pressing your miui version until it says you're a developer so let's go to additional settings and check our developer options is now enabled and here we go you see that your bootloader is already unlocked this is how you check if your bootloader is locked or unlocked and next step if you are on miui you need to remove your mi account so that should be done and if you're on if you are any roms based on aosp then remove your google accounts and remove your password and security once all of these are done we can do a reboot and once that reboot is successful okay why isn't this going it's just error you can we really ignore that now this is the rom zip currently will be installing in this video which is the MIUI 22.5.1 MIUI SR so once everything is proper and you have done a reboot after removing your password security google accounts and my accounts we can reboot our phone into TWRP by clicking on reboot and keeping on pressing the power up button until your phone boots into TWRP once you see the TWRP logo you can remove your finger from the power up button and we have, you, have, you just have to wait until your phone boots into recovery now all we need to do is go to wipe advanced wipe select your dalvik card cache then swipe to wipe we just need to wipe our dalvik card cache until and unless the developer mentioned us to delete like wipe the metadata or data we don't need to be doing this since the wrong i'm installing just needs the dalvik wiped out so i have wiped it now once you wipe your dalvik let's go to uh internal storage and select the rom zip check automatically reflash twrp which will automatically reflash twrp after flashing a rom so let's swipe to confirm flash wait for the rom to get installed this is every roms take 5 to 10 minutes to get installed and this rom is 2.88 gb which will cost us like 5 to 10 minutes and don't worry about the thing that says here So, for example, now here it's telling me package extract file from thing. This is giving me messages like this. And if you are installing other AOSP ROMs, it will give you messages like flashing step one or two. That's also fine. So, MIUI based ROMs might give you this thing, this message, and ROMs based on AOSP might give you a different and port ROMs different. So, every ROM, every kind of ROMs have different kind of messages. So, this is a message you'll be getting in every ROM. Now let's wait for the ROM to get flashed. So the flashing is done. Installation took 200 seconds, and the image flash was completed. Here the ROM is completed, and here our TWRP got flashed. So in case you don't see this, that might be an error. So you might you might have to install TWRP again. So for that, you can even be having a TWRP image in your uh, internal storage, which I didn't have. So in case you don't do that, and you can connect your USB OTG like this. Once you have connected your USB OTG, we can go to Home, Install Recovery RAM, Advanced Install Recovery RAM. Just select Storage. You can select USB OTG. Wait for it to get detected. You can see now it says, now select your image. Swipe to install. Installing your recovery again wouldn't do anything. So after you have installed your recovery, okay, let's wait. Have to get flashed first. So once this is done, we cannot be accessing our data folder again. Which means after flashing a custom ROM or any other ROM, we can't be accessing our internal storage. So for we need to perform a format data. So for that, we'll be going to reboot and recovery, which will boot our phone into TWRP again. So let's wait for that to happen. So that is it. Your TWRP has booted. Now you can go to home by mistake. I click this. So now once you have come here, go to wipe format data. Then you can type in yes. 
and you can click on this button which will wipe out all your pictures and videos containing in your phone so now once all of these are done we can reboot to system some in some rare cases you will get error like no OS installed would you still like to reboot your system swipe to reboot will get an option like that so that would just be an error and it can be ignored you can swipe to reboot now we can wait for our ROM to boot which will be taking 5 to 10 minutes so if you are booting any custom ROMs that would cost you 2-3 minutes and MIUI ROMs 3-4 minutes and this ROM is the ROM I've installed is MIUI SR and this ROM is based on EU ROM so EU ROMs generally take 10 minutes to boot so this ROM is gonna cost me 10 minutes to boot and I have to wait for that time and there we go you can see the MIUI logo now let's patiently wait for the ROM to boot So that is it, the ROM has voted MIUI 13, the ROM I just installed MIUI SR 22.5.1, so let me just do a quick setup and show you the ROM. So that is it, the ROM has been set up, so I have to confirm to swipe to the system. So let's do it into MIUI 13. So that is it, this is how the ROM looks like and so if you are if you you're just your custom ROM just booted and if you don't like it and you again wanna go to your stock ROM and that is the video for that how to go to stock ROM, how to revert to stock ROMs. And if this tutorial helped you, please like, share and subscribe. Comment if you have any doubts. Bye.